you might have Dupuytren's disease. If you have these cord like hard feeling, they almost feel like nodules or tendons and they are in your palm or maybe in your middle knuckle and it's pulling and pulling your fingers down. Now, the great thing is Dupuytren's disease or what they call contractures, they tend not to hurt, right? So you'll just start to feel like, hey, you, you have these like hard bumps in your hand. So what do you do about them? What are the best treatments for Dupuytren's disease or Dupuytren's contractures? Well, my name is Wong. I'm an occupational therapist and certified hand therapist, and I'm going to share with you what we do here in the clinic for Dupuytren's disease. Funny enough, we don't really do anything. <laughs> um, when you have Dupuytren's disease, generally because it doesn't hurt, you're not going to come to therapy, right? Generally, you're not going to come to um, to to fix the problem. So what what ha <laughs> So I know you were probably thinking. I was going to recommend therapy, but actually I don't. What I'm going to recommend is that you keep an eye on the disease process and how it starts to pull your finger down. Now, compared to 20, 30 years ago, a lot of the therapists and a lot of the surgeons used to be like, oh, just wait, um, you know, until it gets really bad and then you can't work with your hands anymore and then do something. Well, Things have changed over the last 20, 30 years, and a lot of the consensus is that you can actually take care of these problems much earlier, not from a therapy standpoint, but from a surgical standpoint. So what I do, you know, when someone comes to me with a Dupuytren's disease or a contracture is I try to distinguish, is it the fascial that's pulling you down or has your joint gotten really stiff? And there is a way. What happens is those nodules and those cords, they're called they're from your fascia. So it's like this web-like um, fibers that cover all your body, but somehow or another it is overworking, right? The disease over creating in your hand. And what happens, it starts to wrap around the tendon, starts to pull that down so that you can't open your fingers as much. We often talk about, you know, when, when people have hand injuries, everyone's worried about making a fist. But if you can't open your hands, uh, you can't function either. You need both being able to make a fist and opening to use your hand. So what happens is as it starts to pull down, you can't get your finger out of the way to grab things. So you start knocking things out. A lot of times people tell me because their fingers are curled in, they can't put their, their hands in their pocket. They When they go to grab something, their finger's always in the way and it starts to knock things out. So you don't have to wait until it's so bad to go to your hand surgeon and say, hey, what can I do about this? Usually splinting is not going to help. A therapist can help you to make sure your joints stay soft and supple, right? You want them to stay soft and supple so that when you do have the surgery, um, the recovery process isn't as hard or as long. What happens is majority of the time, by the time someone comes in to find a hand therapist, um, their joint has gotten really, really stiff um, and um, they they have a lot more problems. So if you're finding this before it's hard, just know that you can stretch your middle knuckle so that it can say the joint can stay supple. It's not changing your disease process. It's not making it go away. It's not curing the problem. That that fascial, those nodules are still going to pull. But what you can do is just to keep it nice and soft. Um, and you can stretch the big knuckle back so that this joint and also the muscles that move your hands can stay soft and balanced, right? So that's the most that we can do as a therapist. Um, the other thing is find a trusted occupational therapist or certified hand therapist. They're going to know some of the best hand surgeons in your town and they can recommend who is the doctor that does like really good surgery for this type of um, problem. Right. And there's several different surgery. There's um, actually there's the collagenase uh, injection. So basically 
they inject an enzyme into your hand and the enzymes will break up and soften the cord and the doctor just breaks the cord and then they put you in a splint and send you to therapy. Sometimes they send you to therapy. Sometimes you need therapy and sometimes you don't. But I always say it's best to go to the therapist and say, hey, do I need therapy or not? And they'll they'll best advise you because you don't want to have that and then be like, oh, I don't need therapy and then find out three weeks later, holy crap, my, my hand's really stuck. I need therapy, right? So um, that's one option. The uh, collagenase enzyme injection, break it open. Um, the other one is where they, you know, where they cut you, uh, where they do a small incision and just release those cords so that you can open and close your hands again. So those are the two uh, most common ones right now right? We can celebrate. Those are the two most common ones. The other one that is not so common is um, one that I haven't seen in a long time. And then all of a sudden I was seeing them all over the place uh, in my clinic. But um, what they do is they go, um, it's a needle release. I can never say the word, so I'm not going to even try to butcher the word. But they go in with the needle and and um, through the skin and they just break it, um, break apart those fibers. So you, you have less of that big whole incision type of issue. Uh, but those are essentially some of your, your major options when it comes to the best treatment of releasing a Dupuytren disease or a contracture. Um, let me see, what else did I want to... Um, what else did I want to mention? All right. So if you don't know um, a certified, no, cut that part. Um, six minutes in, okay. So those are some of the best treatments for Dupuytren disease or contracture. Make sure that you um, reach out to your trusted occupational therapist or certified hand therapist so they can help you to kind of figure out like, you know, what's going on and um, do they need therapy or, you know, would they recommend um, a trusted hand surgeon that you can go to and take care of it? Um, and most of the time, oh, God damn it. okay. So if you suspect that you have Dupuytren's disease or contraction, it's starting to pull your finger down. Um, you don't have to wait too long to figure out what to do now. Find yourself a trusted occupational therapist or certified hand therapist, and they can also help you find a trusted hand surgeon to give you the best options, right? The best options about what to do. When it starts pulling down at your big knuckle, it's okay. But when it starts pulling at your middle knuckle, that's when it becomes kind of a game changer. And so nowadays, um, you can take care of these things much sooner, much faster, and you don't have to wait until it gets really worse, right? Like until it's like it's really stuck down in your hand. Once it's really stuck, then the therapy that's required afterwards can be a lot more, um, a lot more needed or aggressive, right? So just kind of keep those things in mind. And that's why I think it's so important to find someone that you trust to talk to because every single hand that I've ever treated has presented differently. It has presented differently. Again, just because you don't have pain doesn't mean you won't have problems with functioning or you won't have problems using your hands or you won't have problems feeling that stiffness in your hands all the time. So um, just know that you can get help and it's possible for you to not have any problems in your hands. And these are the tools of your life. So please take care of them. Uh, again, my name is Huang. If you like videos like these and this has helped you figure out like what's going on with my hands, uh, definitely hit the subscribe button. And if you have questions, leave them below. I'm happy to create more videos based off of your questions. Thanks for watching. Peace out.